Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Ashraf Jandali, and this is our eighth episode, episode number eight, in Lightroom and Photoshop tips. In our last episode, we talked about the freaky, amazing details, how to pop up the details in your image in a very amazing way. In today's episode, I will be showing you how to get this image and what is the technique behind it to uh, be able to do the same. So um, let's start. What I will be starting with is in Lightroom normally, I will import my images and the images that I've taken and uh, what you really need to know in the beginning is you will first thing have to shoot your images in the manual mode because if there is any kind of variation in the light uh, or even the white balance uh, color that will affect your image and it will make your life much more harder to be able to uh, do the uh, you know edit so the image which, which I have taken initially is the pot itself without anything without me without anyone around that pot the second image is that you will have a picture of your hand inside the pot but your fingers as if they are coming out of the pot so you have to be sure that your arm has to be bent inside so try not to take it out all the way try to bend it all the way down as much as you can so I will see only you know the fingers as if they are coming from out or from coming from inside to outside the pot and the last image you will be taking is you or anyone you want to be in the image um, maybe you want to cook your wife so you can put your wife in the picture so you have to be sure that the pot will be removed and somehow your face has to be aligned to your fingers look at the fingers where they are I've done that mistake in the beginning like my head in this image it's a bit gonna gonna be in this area here to get the best result you have to have your head somewhere in this area okay now once this is done I've done my initial initial edits uh, just you know to pop up the clarity the light the, the uh, highlights all that kind of stuff I've already done them in Lightroom and once this is done you will be exporting or you will be editing your images in Photoshop so we're gonna take now those images to Photoshop the way you can do it you will right click on your three images you'll go to edit in and then you will choose open as layers in Photoshop okay once you do that Photoshop will open and uh, sorry yeah Photoshop will open and you will have your three images stacked as layers now what we need to start with is to have the pot which is this one now this is the pot we'll take it all the way down just click on it drag it down and I will make sure that my face or the head is all the way up so first thing I have the head secondly I have the arm with the fingers and then finally I have the pot now just to be sure that you don't have any problem in the alignment as as you can see this image because I've changed the focus so I have a little bit of you know offset between the two images let's say this one and that one can you see look at the background there is an offset happening so to make sure that this is going right I will be uh, you know choosing all the layers by clicking on the first one and then pressing shift and then clicking on the last one I will highlight all of them and then I will go to edit and then auto align layers and I will be choosing auto and then I'll say OK um, Photoshop will do its magic and it will align and make sure all the pictures are aligned together and once this is done we will be starting our work now what's there and yes now as you can see this image now it is aligned exactly with the one behind it okay so what I will be doing right now is that I want to 
I will just uh, hide this layer by pressing on or clicking on the eye. Now this is uh, uh, hidden now and I need to work on the fingers. I want to take the fingers out so I want to isolate the fingers from this background. So this is this is which I want to you know select this side and I have to be sure that I'm doing a perfect job when selecting the fingers. I don't care about this area because this area exactly has the pot in it which is this one. I have the pot. Okay? But that area which is up I need to be sure that I'm doing a very good job. I tried using the uh, quick selection tool and it's done a very good job for me. If it's not doing good job for you you can do the selection using your pen tool. If you don't know how to use pen tool you go to YouTube there are so many videos that they will teach you how to use the pen tool. It's a very accurate and very powerful tool. At the meantime, I'll be using my, uh, this thing, I'll be using my uh, quick selection tool. Make sure that only this layer, which is the layer ha which has the fingers, is selected. And now quickly I will be uh, choosing, uh, you know, the areas of the finger, like so. As you can see, a quick selection tool nowadays really does a very beautiful job. But I need to be sure that it's uh, you know uh, doing good. The best way is to zoom. I'll be zooming by pressing the Ctrl or Command 1. So that will uh, zoom inside the image. And just I'll just make sure very quickly that this area is done very nicely. Some of them here is not that much. So I will uh, reduce the size of my um, uh, brush just to exclude this area. And then I'll press Alt. Once I press Alt, look at the cursor. Now it's plus. When I press Alt, it will be minus. So I'm just telling Photoshop, please exclude this area, please. And then it will do it uh, by excluding this area. I'll press Space to move. And then I want to exclude this area, which is a very important area to be excluded. And then I'll go all the way like that. And I will exclude it. Okay, oops. And then, okay, I'll move this. Just try your level best to perfect this area. Okay, now as you can see, it's a bit went inside. Uh, the uh, finger, so I will uh, again press the mark. Sorry, uh, I will press the I'll keep it on the plus. Come on, I'll keep it on the plus and I'll make sure that this area is like that. Okay, as I said, as much as this uh, been done very properly, uh, you will be sure that you will get a very good image. So that one, I'll just let it go until here. Okay, and then slightly this area. Okay, perfect. Okay, this is somewhere not that much. As you can see, while it was zoomed out, there are so many areas which you cannot see that it was not doing a very good job. So you have to zoom. And uh, I'll just make sure this is also like that. That's great. Okay. As I told you, this area, I don't care what, what it's doing. If it's doing good job or not, I really don't care. Okay, so just make sure that the fingers are selected. Okay, make sure like this. Okay. Uh, some of the nail is not there. Even if it goes outside, as, as I told you, no problem. Let it go outside, but don't let it go inside. That's very, very important especially in this area, because already I have another image of the pot. See, now that finger will appear as it's cut, so you have to be sure it is selected. Okay, let's go a little bit outside, just to do it faster. Okay. Okay, that's fine now. And now, I'll just finish it here. And we are almost done. Okay, and we are done. Now, uh, all you have to do is uh, make a mask because I want to mask the selection which I have done. And to do that, 
is once it finishes, which is gonna do it very soon. Come on, man, what are you doing? Okay, done. Now I press on the mask, I will mask it, and as you can see now, I have a finger inside the pot. Now a hand is coming out and it's cooking right now. So I want to introduce the head, okay? The easiest way to do it, you can copy this layer, oh sorry, this mask, to this layer. So to do it, let me show this, um, this layer and I'll press Alt and then I will click on the mask and I'll grab it on the first one and then I'll release. Now I have a copy of this uh, mask on the first layer. But as you can see, this is the place where my finger are appearing. So uh, I need the opposite of this. To do the opposite, so I want the black to be white and white to be black, I will press Command I or Control I. Okay, now I want to take off this this area which is which is having my body. I want to I want to remove that. So to remove this, you need to brush on the mask with black. Okay, so I will I will choose my brush. Okay, and then I will make sure it is on black, which is black right now. I will increase the size of the uh, brush and then I will start painting with black. Once I'm painting with black, I am, uh, I am hiding whatever is under this, hmm, which is under this layer. And uh, come to the fingers, this area, make sure that the handle and the pot is appearing. Now I am bringing back my uh, my pot with its shadow make sure that the shadow is there okay like so okay and I'll make sure this area is done perfectly okay and I'll make sure that my brush doesn't reach anywhere to my face okay I'll show you why just anywhere not this area look at that I'll show you exactly this uh, uh, this area this area, see, okay, which is here, you have to be sure that it's not selected. If you select it, you will remove the face and you the pot. Let, let me show you very fast. I will, I will just see. See, now you will see the pot, the behind area of the pot. You have to be sure that you are not selecting that, okay? So then you will you'll see that the face is coming from behind, and which is wrong. So uh, let me zoom in and I will reduce the size of my brush and I will make sure I'm painting now with white to uh, pre by pressing X see now by pressing X I will change between the foreground and the background now I am on white and I will make sure that my face is appearing to give you the illusion that I am inside the pot not outside the pot okay so just make sure this is there okay now the fingers are not again I'll press X and then I'll try to you know make sure that the fingers are reduce it. Okay, X again and yes, okay. So this is almost there. I'll make sure this area as well is done properly. It's uh it's up to you to do uh you know uh to take your time to do a better job because for the sake of the tutorial I will not be doing it perfectly because there are some lines uh, on, on around my fingers. As I told in the beginning, if my head was just a little bit slightly to the left, that would have looked much, much better, but even though it's also fine. Uh, let me just, the final thing I will be doing, I will crop uh, the, uh, you know, just the sides because here after doing the alignment, you will be having some uh, of the, uh, you know, uh, uh, transparent pixels appearing so I'll just remove that I'll just make sure that this is like this that should be fine and done okay just a little bit okay that's great okay so that's how you will be able to do the illusion of having yourself inside a pot
I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial today because it's totally different than any other tutorials that I've done before. Uh, please don't forget to like uh, this video. That will really support me. And also make sure that you click on subscribe to be able to receive all my videos uh, whenever I upload them. And um, have a look at my website which is appearing here as well as my Facebook uh, page. Have a nice day and thank you for watching.